Okay, the tubes are inserted by carefully rotating the thumb around, just wiggling them in. Make sure that after they're in, there's no cuts or slices of O-rings. And you know they went in properly. Okay, next. Now we're going to put the piston tube into the rear head, I believe. Yes, okay, again, applying pressure. Okay, it goes in very easily. And we take it. We are putting the wear band in the back of the piston. Applying grease. Working gently into the back of the cylinder. Make sure the wear strip is in place. Okay, carefully, making sure the seal. Good and through, and it goes. We're greasing all the seals and the interfaces. Verify correct orientation of the head. Make bolts. We're going to gently thread the bolts onto the cylinder, gently pulling the rear head over the tubes, checking very carefully for alignment here, making sure they are lined up and loose and not binding. You can usually tell once it starts pushing the O-ring. Okay, at this point, very carefully watch the O-ring seat. Make sure they're loose. Working the rear head into position. Now install the rest of the bolts.